Good morning. Today we're going to finish the book of Genesis. We're just going to do two chapters today. It'll be Genesis chapter 49 and Genesis chapter 50. Genesis chapter 49, And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable is water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to my father's bed, and defiled it thou, and went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brethren, instruments of cruelty are in their inhabitations. O my soul, come not unto their secret, unto their assembly, mine honor be not united. For in, thine, for in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they dig down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. Judah, thou art whom thy brother shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. From my prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and until him shall the gathering of people be. Binding his foal into the vine, and his ass colt into the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine, and washed his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea, and he shall be for a haven of the ships, and his borders shall be unto Zidon. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens, and he saw that the rest was good in the land, that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and came a servant unto tribute. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent, by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse's heel, so that his rider shall fall backwards. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Gad, a troop shall come and shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Out of Asher his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtali is a hind let loose, and he giveth goodly words. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by the well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him, and shot at him, and hated him. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, even by the God of thy father who shall heap thee, and by the Almighty who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors into the utmost bound in the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, and in the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is that their father spake unto them and blessed them. Every one according to his blessing, he blessed them. And he charged them, and he said unto them, I am to be gathered unto my people. Bury me with the fathers in the cave that is the field of Ephron the Hittite, in the cave that is the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought with the field of Ephron the Hittite for a possession of a burying place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there I buried Lee. The purchase of the field and the cave is therein was from the children of Heth. And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. Genesis chapter 50. And Joseph fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. And the physicians embalmed Israel. And forty days were fulfilled for him. For so are fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed, and the Egyptians mourned for him threescore and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave which I have digged up for me in the land of Canaan. Thou shalt thou bury me. 
Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury the father, according as he made thee swear. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him he went to all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, the elders of the land, and all the house of Jacob, and his brethren, and his father's house, only the little ones, and their flocks, and their herds, they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond Jordan. And there they mourned with a great and a very sore lamentation. And he made for a, long, a, a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is grievous mourning to the Egyptians. Wherefore the name of it was called Alba Mizrim, which is beyond Jordan. And his sons did unto him accordingly as he commanded him. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Abraham bought with the field for a possession of a burying place of Hephren the Hittite before Mamre. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brethren and all that went up with him to bury his father after he had buried his father. And when Joseph's brethren saw their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requit us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall you say unto Joseph, Forgive me, I pray thee now, and trespass of thy brethren in their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, Forgive the trespass of the servants of God thy father. And Joseph went when they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. But as for ye, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. There, there, now therefore fear ye not. I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt, he and his father's house. And Joseph lived a hundred and ten years. And Joseph saw Ephraim's daughter of the third generation. The children also of Machir, the son of Manasseh, were brought up unto Joseph's knees. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die, and God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land into the land which he sware to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from hence. So Joseph died, and being a hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt.